Alright folks, so welcome back to more Paper Mario Pro Mode. So last time we finished up Chapter 5, beat the Lava Piranha, and made it back safely to Toad Town, and unfortunately, we got our butts handed to us by Kent C. Koopa. He looks like he's going to be a much tougher boss this time around compared to uh, what we expect in the vanilla game. So we're going to be starting World 6 today, but before we uh, go to Flower Fields, we're going to go around. There's a bunch of upgrade blocks that we want to get. And, as well as a couple of bonus bosses I want to fight, so... Hmm... One of the bosses that we need to fight is the... Uh, Super Blooper. Okay, good. We definitely are going to want Zap Tap for Super Blooper. Something tells me that, uh, he's going to be Electrify himself, much like the Electro Blooper. What else should we equip? I don't know how powerful he's going to be, so... Let's go to Jump Charge. Oh, that's right, we also need to do some cooking! I think his bad shop, yeah, it's gonna be sold out. Before we attempt the Super Blooper, though, there are a bunch of upgrade blocks that we can now take advantage of. Now that, we, A, we have Sushi, and B, now that uh, we have the Ultra Stone. Oh, that's right. The dock is over here. Come, Sushi! I love how much they hid in the overworld. It's really great. <laughs> Have I mentioned that I love this game before? Because I do. It's my number two favorite game. I just love everything about it. It's such a charming, fun game to play. It's just, it's just fun. Alright. With this, you can upgrade your party member. We're going to upgrade Watt. Because Watt is really, really powerful. <laughs> I'm not sure how much use Watt is going to be in this next world. But at the very least, she can take out those spinies that the Lakitus throw. And if, who knows, if any, if any enemy happens to get a big buff to their defense, Watt's going to be useful for that. It's Harry's... Oh, no, this is the Shroom Grocery. Never mind. Give me that jam and jelly. Oh, sorry, we still have the dried fruit. We need to sell that. Ooh, coconut. Yeah, dried fruit sells for 20 coins. That's actually a deal. There's nothing else I really want to use the dried fruit for. Let's see. Carrying seven items. Alright. Time for some cake mix. Oh, but first, we're going to fight Lee. Because I don't think we ever actually fought Lee. We fought Chan, who was a gave me a lot more trouble than I expected. <coughs> ah, Mario. Welcome to our dojo. For what purpose did you come here today? We're gonna try. Very well. This time, Lee will fight you. Now, Lee, let me show you how you handle Mario. Certainly, sir. I will defeat him, Master. We probably should have fought him a couple of worlds ago. I bet you've never seen a move like this before. Oh, he turned into sushi, even though she's not in, even in our party. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. This Lee is this is Lee disguised as sushi. Sushi looks tough. Think she'd be mad if she heard that. Lee has disguised herself as a sushi perfectly, so his attacks are the same as sushi's usual moves. I'm not too thrilled to have to fight sushi. She's strong, is she? I'd much rather fight sushi than say what? Okay, yeah. Lee's got a lot of HP, but we also have Ultra Hammer and a bunch of Power Plus badges. <laughs> We also have Goombario at Ultra Rank. Yeah, she's already halfway done. Ooh, you are strong. I'll give you that. Triple E? Okay, this is interesting. Well, we can still Ultra Hammer the real Lee. 
Do we literally have to fight three of them now, though? Or do we just have to kill Lee? <laughs> well, Paracarry was easy to deal with. Bombette, I'm a little worried about. Never mind, she used Body Slam. Oh, man, now I can't actually... That's okay. Take this quote-unquote bow. Oh, okay, we actually do have to take on all of them. This is cool! I like this change to the fight. The change to Chan wasn't really that good, because it was it didn't really make sense. Oh! Hey, folks, let's see how much Smooch recovered. Okay, Smooch is exactly the same. I actually can kind of dig that. Smooch really did not need to be changed at all. Do, 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 do. Alright. We'll get rid of these Lees one by one. Sushi again. And Cooper! Interesting. This is a fun fight! I actually really like this fight. This is a lot better than it was in Vanilla. <laughs> that was too slow. That was a mistake, turning into Cooper. You are at my mercy. Alright, goodbye, Lee. You put up a good fight. Enough! Mario is the winner. Lee, you have much training to do. Very well. I give you this, Mario. We get the second degree card. You are welcome to train here with us any time. <coughs> cool. Lee was tougher than I was expecting. I was figuring he's a boss that you probably should have fought at the end of World 4 or World 3. But we beat him no real problem. Boy, hanging out way up high sure was nice. Such a great view and everything. Uh, never mind. Say, that's a cool hammer you got there. I bet you can beat up even enemies with hard shells now. How are you, old bean? Smashing, I trust. I'd just like to thank you for helping out with that nasty volcano business. Of course, I'm sure you're well aware of my own heroic role in the final fracas. I've lately worried about my dear wife. How she must worry about me as I brave danger. Perhaps it's time I returned home for a while. Feel free just to stop by for a spot of tea, Colorado. I heard that my brother went to Lava Lava Island on a tuna. Unbelievable! So unfair! I, I, I wanna ride on a tuna too! I heard that some Yoshi kids on Lava Lava Island got lost and my brother saved them. I bet Yoshi kids are just about the cutest fiends around. I'm a bit jealous of my brother. That's understandable, Luigi. Do, 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 do. Welcome, Nintendo Addict. Yes, I have added new channel point sound effects. Oh, I hope they're working. I actually didn't test to see if they were working. They should, though. If you redeem one and it doesn't actually play, then I'll, I'll fix it. And... <laughs> I'll get it to play. Uh, let's see. No, I'm not going to fight the master just yet. I feel like I'm going to fight the first master. New sound effects are working. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, we should prob... Okay, I think I've changed my mind. I actually, instead of jump charge, I'm going to equip multi-bounce, because I think super blooper will actually summon blooper babies. And I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> that is the Beast. But it's not from, like, actual Beauty and the Beast. It's from Beauty and the Beast Bell's Magical World. Which is the absolutely awful direct-to-DVD sequel. 
It's so bad, it's good. Actually, no, it's just kind of so bad. <laughs> and honestly, that one line, I will never apologize, basically is an accurate summary of the entire movie. Oh, Mario. Okay. We got our cake mix. We've got a coconut. Here we go, the recipe is not too bad. Coco Pop. I'm Coco for Coco Pops! Wait, no, I don't want to make... No. Oh, literally, she won't let you mix two of the same ingredient together. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> you mix the pasta and the pasta together to make double spaghetti. Jelly Pop, 64 FP, complete and utter overkill. The only way that that's actually worth it is if you have maxed out your FP and have all three FP plus batches equipped. <laughs> Time for one of my absolute favorite uh, dishes to make for from Taste Tea. The Yoshi Cookie! <laughs> 15 HP, 15 FP. Not bad, if I uh, do say so myself. <laughs> oh, also, old Koopa McCooters. Also, I think Chuck Quizmo is re will reappear now. Oh, what luck! Perfect timing! I guess the younger generation does so bad after all. Well, I don't usually ask for favors, but I seem to have misplaced my glasses, which is vexing. I somehow, I suppose I must have dropped them somewhere. I haven't gone beyond the borders of Koopa Village, so logic suggests they're somewhere in the village. Could you drop what you're doing and find them? I have your word, young fella. I actually can't remember exactly where they are. I think they're just in one of these bushes. Nope, that's a Koopa Beef. Doom, doom, doom. There they are. Also, I believe I have a letter for Coover. Is there a game called Yoshi's Cookie? <laughs> that can see Koopa never came or came back, and he's greedier than ever. We can't even get to Toad Town without paying a huge toll. If I could just flip him over, I'd bite his tail. That's his weak point. Oh, I don't have a letter to Coover. Oh, wait. Then who? what letters do I have? I have one for Igor in Boo's shop. Rusty, Igor, and Little Mouser. Oh, that's right, in the Dry Dry Outpost shop. Okay, well, we can make our way over there real quick. Here's your glasses, buddy. Hop and hurt plant! You're a master sleuth, Mario! My eyesight's really gone downhill these last years. Now I can once again read books without any trouble. Technology's great, isn't it? Here, I'll give you this to show my gratitude. What luck, you came at the perfect time. Well, I guess the younger generation's not so bad after all. Well, I don't usually ask for favors, but I've really been dragging my shell recently. I need a tart pick-me-up. Let's see. Oh, I know, a fresh lime should do the trick. Can you go find one? Hurry up if you could. I feel as slow as a tortoise. Promise? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoshi's Cookie is a puzzle game for the NES and Super NES. I did not know that. That sounds like the name of a Yoshi game, though. Chuck Quizmo, no Chuck Quizmo. Okay. Well, we gotta get a lime. I wish it wasn't such a pain in the butt to get back from the oasis to the uh, the outpost. But well, what you gonna do? Rats. That's the lemon tree. I think you literally need to find a twist. Yeah, this twister and enter him to get blown away. Because otherwise, I, otherwise, I think you're literally in an inescapable part of the desert. <laughs> At least of all the changes that were made. I also think at this point, have I bought everything from Rolf's bad shop? I don't think he gets anything else after this world. Oh man. I'm too old for this stuff.
Hey, Janae, how's it going? Upcoming chapter is your personal favorite. Interesting. I feel like most people think Flower Fields is their least favorite. I think it gets a bad rap, personally. Like, it, prob it probably is my least favorite, but I still like it. I just wish there was slightly less backtracking, but it's, it's a beautiful world. With some interesting enemies. Hey, bro. I'm not, I'm not here for anything, but I'm just here to actually deliver this letter to you. <laughs> Whatever letter do we deliver? This is one of the regulars. She buys lemons and limes. Oh, hey! Frankie and Boo's Mansion. I was gonna head over there anyways. No Quizmo, eh? Yeah? Quizmo's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, he could be on Yoshi's Island, now that I think about it. That is one of the new places he can show up. Or maybe... Nope. Yes, yes, I do like Chapter 6, as a matter of fact. I like all the worlds in this game. I almost forgot about that shooting star. Also, I can't remember if there's actually a star piece hidden panel that I forgot about back here. I think there is. I think there's one in the place where you find the original hammer. I should just grab it before I forget about it. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm fully committing to... Thought so. I'm fully committing to trying to get 100% in this game. I've made it this far, and I haven't even missed a single tattle. Okay, nope. Just the panel back there. Do, 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 do. Give me that one FP back. I might need it. Man, speedy spin makes that very quick and easy. All right. Let's give Grandpa his lime. I literally traveled across the globe for this. You better appreciate it. By Spanish specs, are you for real, Mario? Mind blowing, crazy. Mmm, yeah, what a sour lime. That'll put a spring to my step. You're a stand up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you something special. Oh, per perfect time. Oh, I guess the younger generation doesn't bad after all. I don't usually ask for favors, but I recently heard about a snack called the Kooky Cookie. It's supposedly delicious. I must confess that I have a sweet tooth, so do you think you could track one down? One of the ingredients is a Koopa Leaf, but I have no idea what the other one is. Hurry up if you can! I need sweets post-haste! Do I have your word, young man? Doggone it. I think, I think I already made it, but I'm pretty sure I already sold it. Because I'm like, Kooky Cookie, it's random chance. I hate that. I'm gonna check to see. I'm pretty sure that I sold it, though. It's okay. It's pretty easy to make. Yep. If only he asked for a big cookie. Also, how did I get two sweet shrooms? I don't remember making two. I remember only making one. Boom, 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 boom. There, I'll get that for old Grandpa Coot. Part of me wants to try taking on Kent C. Koopa again, but also, I'm pretty sure he's just a really tough boss, so I'm not sure what I could actually do against him. Alright, a couple things to get here. We're gonna get another strange leaf. We have two letters to deliver here, one to Frankie. I think that's this guy. It's a Lady Bo. Oh, you're Frankie, right? Here you go. Another letter duly delivered. Oh, thank you. Oh, great, it's finally in. This is from a guy I know who deals in our useful items from all over the world. He has a great eye for items. He just got something that I've wanted for a long time. Oh, it's the coolest fiend. Oh, wow, I almost forgot. Could you deliver this for me? Sorry if it's a bother. There's a toad child in Toad named Dane T. Please deliver it to him. He always seems to be playing by the station with his pals. He must like trains. Thanks, Sabu. I like how it plays just Bo's theme in here all the time now. Ooh. 
Welcome to Boo's shop. How may I scare you today? You're Igor of Boo's shop, right? Here you go, buddy. Another letter duly delivered. Oh, letter? Oh, right, an order list. Weird. This order's from Gusty Gulch. That's right around the corner! Why can't they just come here? Oh, well, my motto is from Boo to you with a smile. Take this for your trouble. Thanks, bro. He actually sells pretty decent stuff. Actually, wait, does the, is the mystery still just one coin? Five. Aw, oh, man. In vanilla game, mystery was only one coin. You could just buy a bunch of those, cook them into... And if you cook them at uh, Taste Tea's place, you get a random item. It's usually a mistake, but even in that case, you can sell a mistake for, I think, two coins? And you're gonna sometimes get some really good items that way, so it's a pretty great way for grinding for items and money. Not the fastest way to grind for money, but... Alright. Actually, no. I'm gonna upgrade some more party members first. Before I take on Super Blooper. Oh, that's right, there are boos in this room. I forgot boos are enemies in this. Even though I have Ultra Hammer, Super Boots still deal more damage. <laughs> I love having boos as enemies in this. It makes perfect sense. It's like there are NPC boos and evil boos. It's kind of like how there are good Koopa Troopas and bad Koopa Troopas. Oh, yuck. I don't like that. <laughs> How do you guys like a taste of your own medicine? I wonder if these enemies also were originally coded in the game, but just never actually made it into the final cut, or if the modders actually coded all of this. Yeah, they're basically the same way that they are in Files in Your Door, except these guys can be transparent for extended periods of time. I don't like that. Dang, that is really hard to action guard against. And by that, I mean it's almost impossible. How dare you? <laughs> You're getting beaten up by your own ruler. Wow, that took out a lot more HP than I thought it would. You know what? I'm honestly afraid that I'm not going to get the full smacks out, so hey, Goombario, finish the job. And this gives us a level up. Gonna keep up in my HP. I find I run out of HP a lot faster than I run out of FP. Alright. New party member to upgrade. Now, I know this is kind of going against the cardinal sin. This is basically me committing the ultimate cardinal sin from my own perspective. I'm actually going to upgrade Paracarry next. Normally, I don't upgrade Paracarry until absolutely last, because I don't like using him in battle. But I actually think that his air raid ability is going to be really good in pro mode, because in the vanilla game, I basically viewed air raid as like, okay, it's Mega Bomb, but worse. But in this, Bombette got so heavily nerfed that... I actually feel like Air Raid might be useful in the upcoming world. Alright. Actually, no, we're not going to fight Super Booper just yet. I'm going to wait until I get the letter to the Yoshi Kid. And do it all in one go. Okay, what did Koopa... Oh yeah, the, the cookie. I'm like, what did Koopa Koop want for me again? Yep, that's right. Oh man, we also have the Chapter 5 challenges to do. Dog on it. I swear we will get to Flower Fields.
Okay, we just need one thing of cake mix. Alrighty, cake mix and the Koopa Leaf to get another Kooky Cookie for Mr. Coot. He better appreciate this. Tra -la 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 -la. Yep, there's that Kooky Cookie. Wait, no, no, no. No. That was a mistake. First, I want you to just cook up the melon. This was straight from Yoshi's Island. It was given to me by Yellow Yoshi. I trust his judgment. This is gonna be something good. The special shake, 20 FP. Now we're going to mix that special shake with the strange leaf. So we're gonna enhance that smoothie we just made. This is one of her specialties, the healthy juice. 40 FP, also overkill. Far more than we have, but... All right, Dane T. Here he is. Is it true that there is a huge, scary, fire-breathing flower-like monster somewhere here in the Martian Kingdom? Definitely! And you bring it up, right? Did you really? How could something that looks like a flower be scary? Will the flower's mint tea be is growing also turn into scary monsters someday? Uh, probably not. That won't happen, will it? You're Dane T, correct? I'm Paracarry. I deliver letters and boop -de doop -de doop Another letter duly delivered. Thanks, mister! Wow! I mean, wow! It's an invitation to the Haunted Mansion! <laughs> Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion! I didn't think it would really come! All the kids in Toad Town have been talking about this invitation, wondering if it was for real! But, now that it's come, I guess I have to go! Minty, are you brave enough to go with me? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really kind of busy, and, uh... Oh, yeah, just the greatest idea! Let's ask that Yoshi kid from Yoshi's Village to come! You just got a letter from that kid last week, didn't you? You know, that letter you got from the island! Let's send a letter back to him and tell him about the scary adventure we're going to have. Hey, Mr. Postman, take this letter to the Red Yoshi Kid in Yoshi's Village. That's what I was waiting for. All right. Super blooper time. We're going to need sushi to ferry us there. Gonna save preemptively, because someone tells me we're gonna have at least one game over against this guy. I think he's gonna be extremely powerful. Blooper! Look at the size of that thing! Okay. Here is Super Blooper. Alright, he doesn't have any defense. I like that. All right, here's Super Blooper. Super Blooper, huge, easily, amazingly, be a uh, massive. Okay, his ink attack doesn't deal that much damage. He has a lot more HP this time, though. That shouldn't be too problematic. I'm just worried about what special attacks he's gonna have up his sleeve. So this is Blooper Baby time. I think it, that. Um, those are regular-sized bloopers. What?! You're joking. You're joking. You're joking! You're joking! I can't believe my eyes! You know what? It's a good thing we... Oh my gosh, Air Raid take... I can't even do this more than once! Are you kidding me? Forget that. I'm, I'm focusing just on Super Blooper. I mean, regular bloopers I don't think really can damage me. I'll just have to kill them at the end. Okay, the slam attack can still damage me. A mini-boss that summons mini-bosses. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, yes, of course. And there's his super, super attack. You know what time it is. Out of sight, Vegemite, Larry boy.
Gee. You like the atmosphere of flower fields? It's so colorful when the clouds are gone. But track the plays is your number one favorite song in the game. Is it weird that I like the gloomy flower fields music a lot better than the, the uh, sunny one? I think I'm in the minority there. But to be honest, the Sun Tower music is one of my favorite tracks in the game. The nice thing, though, is as long as I don't kill these little bloopers, he's not going to need to summon more. Which means he's going to spend... Wow, this guy's... This guy's way, way easier than, like, all... <laughs> This guy is, I think, easier than Lee was. What the very... I came close to dying to Lee, so... Goodbye, Super Blooper. Now we just have to take on two regular bloopers. Yeah, I literally fought Lee earlier on this stream, and he came closer to killing me. Still an interesting change. Actually, I feel like... I think these bloopers are actually less annoying than the blooper babies were. Like, I truly think these guys are less annoying than the Blooper Babies, because the Blooper Babies sucked your HP. Whereas these guys basically just squirt ink at me, which is easy to action guard and does no, no damage due to my badge setup. Alright, buy Blooper number one. Are you going to give me star points? No, you're not. Wow, I think this guy was actually easier than Electro Blooper. Actually, no, Electro Blooper, once I had Zap Tap, was a joke. Okay! okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you could not have timed that better. I said it at the exact same time as DK. <laughs> Jinx, I owe DK a soda now. <laughs> hey, Red Yoshi Kid. Oh, wow. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Wait. Did he just quote Tony the Tiger? Wow, wow. All right. Great. Did you see the fire pull out of the mountain? Dazzling. Something else flew out, too. Looks like checking it out is a job for the Fearsome Five. But I guess we can't. Until I get bigger, I guess I'll just listen to the stories of your adventures. So that means you have to come visit us all the time and tell us stories, Mario. A Red Yoshi Kid. Yeah, you must be the one. There's only one Red Yoshi Kid in the entire world. Here's Pear Carry for a letter for you. Ba da 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 da. Another job duly delivered. Oh, thanks. I wonder what it is. Oh, my pal made up a new game. I gotta play this later. He also wants me to come over to his town and play with him sometime. But how can I get there? I just opened the pipe. Oh, well, maybe I'll be able to cross the sea and hang out. It's really funny because I was just writing him a letter about a game I made up. Mr. Pear Carry, will you, will, you, will you help? Here, deliver this to the Toad Kid who asked you to send this to me. Could you? Thanks. Back to Dainty. Wait. No, 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 no. We're exploring the rest of the sewers. Which means we gotta save because I don't want to fight the Super Blooper again. He was easy, but I, that takes a lot of... That takes too much time. And I do want to get to Flower Fields uh, <laughs> at some point. Thanks for the nap, bro. I appreciate it. Alright. That's right, Dark Koopas are common enemies now. Oh, wait! Dark Koopas, they can make me dizzy. The letter chain definitely... Oh, shoot. That's... That's actually bad. I forgot I don't have Quake Hammer nor Spike Shield equipped, so I literally can't take on that red spike top without using Star Storm. Wow, Star Storm was actually useful. Oh, nice, an exact kill. Good job, Gumbario. Alright, I'll be taking off multi-bounce and we re-equipping Quake Hammer, me thinks. The enemies down here aren't that... Oh, Pal Block. I can also use that. 
That works. Except Pow Block is very weak and only deals two damage. Oh, that's right. You need Ultra Boots for that. Actually, do we need Ultra... No, never mind. This takes us right to, um, either... I can't remember if this guy is Rip Cheeto or Cheat Rippo. He's the, he's the good one. The one that actually sells you good stuff. Boom. Well, well, looky here. Hello, hello, hello. Rip Cheeto at your service. You're quite an enterprising fellow finding this place. What am I doing here? Just doing a little business and minding my own. You, my friend, have just stumbled into great fortune, for I have a deal for you. I have something special, and it costs only 64 coins. Deal? Trust me, it's a bargain. Sure. Star piece. Well done, my good man. I thank you deeply. Now, if you thought that item was good, I have something even better at the same price. 64 coins. But I warn you, this offer's only good right now. You'll be kicking yourself if you miss this opportunity. So how about it? I can't afford it. Okay, pinch your pennies. It's a shame, really. This item's so amazing. Ah, well, it could be gone when you come back. Isn't he trying to sell me a dried shroom at this point? One of these items he sells you is a dried shroom, but eventually he sells you the bump attack badge. It's the old key. I'm sorry, the odd key. Alright, I think at this point, once I deliver another letter, then the chain is locked until Chapter 7. Also, where the heck is Chuck Quizmo? Hey, bro. Yeah, I got another letter for you. I think this is the last one. Wow, thanks a lot. You're much faster than the old postman, that's for sure. I am the old postman. That Yoshi kid's a really good pen pal, huh? He writes really long letters. It sounds like there's always something fun going on over there. <sighs> Lucky Yoshi. He should write back again. Hmm, what, do you, what, should, what should we write about? I don't know. Let's think about it later. By the way, I want to ask you a favor, Mr. Perry Can you deliver this? Is what it, yeah, Uncle Frosty of Starborn Valley. Yep, he takes care of the star kids. Okay, so yep, yeah, that's locked until we reach Chapter 7. Cool. Oh yeah, we need to give we need to give Koopa Koot his cookie. He's been waiting for just so long. I also there's an up before I forget there's another upgrade block I can get over this way, but we have to pass these pipes. Yeah, that doesn't take you anywhere. I already went up the set of platforms. It does. Do 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 boom boom boom. Whoa! Hi, Buzzy Beetle. I don't want to bother you, I just want to get this upgrade block. Alright, um... Bow could be useful. At the same time, a fire shells... Actually, no, most of the enemies in World 6 are airy. Except those Monty Moles, though. Cooper could be useful against... Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade Cooper. I, I find I'm using Cooper a lot more than Bow, anyways. I know Bow technically can deal more damage, but... I think Cooper's power shell is just too good to pass up. I think Power Shell plus Power Quake are going to be instant death to all of those Monty Moles that we fight in the Flower Fields, which I think will be pretty helpful. Plus, Cooper's going to be really good for Chapter 7. I've been very disappointed by Bombette, though. Normally, Bombette is like, yes, upgrade immediately. Bombette is so good, but not lately. Lately, she's just sat around and chewed. Lunge Albano Dinos! You're world class, Mario! So this is the cookie everyone raves about. It does look good. I think I'll save it for later. That looks more like a donut, if you ask me. I'll give you this gift to show my gratitude. Don't have to be so flat. Take it. Oh, it's Mario. That's whatever we're having. Okay. Ooh, we also have the, uh... The final trading post game. I actually can't remember what we need to bring. Oh, there you are! Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. God, where is it? It's Chuck Wismo. Question! What color was the leader of the Yoshi's Village? He was green. And he was fat. That's what I remember. Correct! Here's your star base! Or maybe not fat, just a little chunky. You've answered 35 questions, but we're not done yet. Let's try the next one. Question! What is the real name of the Toad who calls himself the Master Poet? What? I have no idea. I'll go with Simon. Okay, I just lucked out of that one. I have literally never even heard of that before. Oh wait, no, he was the guy who writes the uh, the the lyrics, isn't he? 
36 questions. That's right, I think he's the he's the bearded toad who writes the lyrics. Question, what is the name of the plant that grows in Jade Jungle and blows out stars? Oh, like the... That's the uh, trumpet plant. The bellbell plant is the one that jingles, and the hurt plant is the enemy you fight. All right, we're not done yet, folks. I'm actually on a roll today. Question, how many colors of Yoshi's did you see in Yoshi's... Um... Green, yellow, red, the two shades of blue, and brown. Yes! <laughs> You've answered 48 questions, but we're not done yet, folks. Question. Where did the bob -Oms held in Cooper Rose Fortress go? Uh, they went to Koopa Village. They live in Cooper's house now. Correct! Here's your star piece. <laughs> One of them's name is Bruce. <laughs> You've answered 39 questions. We still have another. All right. Question. Which of the following tour, tour trips is offered by Toad Town Tours? What? Tropical Resort Tour? Oh, tough, tough one, kid. Maybe next time. That's okay. We answered so many in a row. Information said, but moving on, ta da 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 touch da 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 Okay, I promise I'm not going to do the Boo Challenge. I'm going to go straight to Flower Fields before I do that. That is the wrong way. Just because I, I promised in the stream title that we were going to start Flower Fields, and I feel bad that we've just basically been doing side quests this whole time. And also, the stream is halfway over, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I will not be boo doing Boo Challenges this stream. I'll save that for next week. Because I know people are eager for me to start the pain that is Chapter 6. And by pain, I mean there are going to be some tough enemies. And a lot of backtracking. Yeah, after I do this trading side quest, I'm going to go straight to Flower Fields. I want to get a good head start on it. And any side quests that we haven't done, we can finish up next time. All right. Club 64, Club 64. It's the cool place to hang out in town. In fact, it's like the only place to hang out in town. Hello, I'm the Toad from the trading event. Here's your coconut. Congratulations, this is the item for today. The yummy meal. Use it wisely and see you at the next trading post event. Sup, gooms? I, ha I am missing some star power, so I better take a nap, and then we'll go on and enter flower fields. Rolf, do you have anything else that you sell at your shop? Nope, I bought you out. I literally, I literally don't think... I don't remember if he actually sells anything after beating Chapter 6, or if I literally have bought everything from him. Ah, Mario! It's a refresher body and soul! Well, okay, I do like doing both of those things. Alright, flower fields time, everybody. Here it is, the moment you've been waiting for. Flower fields is in a state of despair because of Bowser's minions. Please, save us! The bulbs came from a flower field land called the Flower Fields. They say the flowers in the flower fields are in trouble. To get to flower fields, you need four kinds of seeds that only bulbs possess. But where are the bulbs? Please, Mario, you must look for bulbs and get the seeds from them. Maybe Merlin's fortune telling can help you look. Oh, that's nice that Merlin will actually remind you if you missed one in a world. Wow, you brought me the seed. Thank you so much. Happy dance. Love that animation. Ha ha! At first it just looked like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door appeared! It must be... You must be able to go to flower fields from here! 
Mario, Firefields needs your aid. Please help. This is basically like, this is basically like Dragon Tales, but with flowers. Like, <laughs> in Dragon Tales, the wallpaper comes to life and teleports them to the land of dragons. But here, the door comes to life and teleports us to the land of flowers. Have I beat? Have I fought Ken C. Koopa yet? I tried last stream, and he has 200 HP and can't be put to sleep anymore. So I said nope and left. <laughs> I'll fight him eventually, but he's looking like he's going to be an endgame bo bonus boss. Chapter 6, Dark Days in the Flower Fields. I am already dreading this boss fight. <laughs> what ho? Now who might that be? Ho 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 ho! Up here, son! They call me Wise Wisterwood. I am the oldest tree here in the flower fields, the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of your world, aren't you? Very noble. If that is true, then your arrival means a star spirit is here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flower fields is in trouble. A creature named Huffinpuff and his followers invaded our fair land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and gloomy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huffinpuff is holding somebody captive. Of course! It must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh ho, you're going to defeat the wicked Huffinpuff, then. Well, that would make the wishes of Flowerfields come true. But it's not that easy. Huffinpuff is up in the sky, on what we call the Cloudy Climb. There's no way up there now. Well, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows high. Now wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean. Somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bubbles around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. Thanks, bro. Hey, guy! Where are you going? Oh, Petunia? Yeah, Petunia's straight west from here. Yep, west. <laughs> Sorry, guy, I can't tell you any more, not even if you ask. It's a toy lip. He definitely knows a lot about the flower fields. Unfortunately, he's a liar. You can figure out his riddles, can't you, Mario? Hey, Superstar, let me fill you in on something. You can get yourself one fine gift if you hit the three trees in a row in the order left, right, then middle. Yup. <laughs> it's true, I swear. Whoops, I told you too much. No more secrets ahead of me. That's what I was waiting for. I couldn't remember the exact order. It's middle, right, left. Good. And now we fight some very annoying enemies. Oh boy! Okay. Crazy daisies. Yeah, they're crazy daisies. They look cute, but I hate these enemies. This is really hard to action guard against. Oh my gosh, I actually did it, though. We don't believe it! <laughs> Alright, Yellow Magic Koopa. I got Zap Tap. I'm not afraid of no, no electricity. <laughs> yeah, you, you're gonna want to skedaddle. Oh no, Bizaps. I'm actually quite frightened of them. They're gonna pack so much of a punch. It's a bizap! We've encountered them a couple of times, but... <laughs> this... Oh no, I unequipped multi-bounce. Why did I unequip multi-bounce? Oh, okay, that actually isn't dealing as much damage as I was fearing. That's right, I unequipped multi-bounce to equip Quake Hammer. Now I remember. Take that, you bazaps. Oh wow, they give two star points apiece? Wow, that's good. 
Alright, so these are the free trees, so... Middle... Right... And left. F happy flower badge! I'm pretty happy about that. One of these days, I'll remember to re-equip uh, multi-bounce. Also, Bazap's got a slight buff to their HP. They normally only have free HP. Oh my gosh! I think I actually have the pattern down for when to action guard that. You wait until the final musical mode is directly above your head. Oh, if so, then that's great. That'll make the Amazy Daisy significantly less frightening. Hey, lady. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale! Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I've no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now these Monty Moles dig into the ground and bite my roots! Oh, woe is me! My beautiful seed collection will become a Monty Mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get rid of these Monty Moles for me? In case you're wondering, the Monty Moles I'm talking about are... This guy... And this jerk. And this troublemaker. And this wicked creature. This guy is... Well, you, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. Please don't fail me! My seeds and I are counting on you to save us! Alright, Monty Moles. These are different from the Mount Rugged Moles. They still have 12 HP, right? They sure do. Okay, I have. I'm afraid that they're. Okay, they are lugging rocks that are bigger than themselves. Fun. Never understood why the random crazy daisy's there, but it's kind of funny. I, I, yeah, I like it. So sometimes you add stuff just to be funny. All right. Let's do some badge readjustment. I don't think that Zap Tap is really going to be useful in this world, because I feel like a lot of enemies are kind of immune to electricity anyways. So we're going to unequip Quake Hammer. And Zap Tap. I think we're also going to unequip Flower Saver and equip Flower Fanatic. And I don't actually think we're going to need Mega Quake. I think we only really are going to want Power Quake. And if that's the case, I can also equip Multi Bounce for the Bazaps. This is a good plan. And now Cooper's going to show off his powers. So I think this is the one where you fight four. Yes, it is. Okay. So if memory serves, I believe this is going to do... Seven damage? Yes, and now Cooper's Power Shell should finish them all off. No, it doesn't, because they nerfed it. Well, crab apples. Darn it. Cooper's Power Shell normally does 5 damage, right? Well, that could have been bad. Okay, guess we do need Mega Quake after all. This is why we bought Mega Quake from the store. Yeah, that was a little scary, but we're in the clear now. <laughs> now we can just use Mega Quake. Cooper's still helping us out, although I didn't need to upgrade him. I bet Fire Shell would have done enough damage as well. Okay, does Mega Quake take 5 FP? If it does, but also this guy is just all on his own. Kabam! Okay, Cooper's regular Shell Toss deals 5 damage, but Power Shell only deals 4, eh? That's, that's just annoying. Oh 
Yippee! Hooray! Hurrah! Yahoo! Wee! You got rid of the Monty Moles! Oh, thank you, thank you! To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean! Here you are! Magical bean! Hmm? Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Seed Maniac. Heh <laughs> Nice to meet you. By the way, about that magical bean that I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it'll always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No! Guess what we're going to do. I'm going to leave that guy alone. He's just chilling. He, I respect him. He just wants to be on his own and enjoy his life. And I, I, I respect that. But now we are actually... This could be the perfect opportunity to take advantage of p, -p, -p power Rush! <laughs> Actually, <laughs> we could also equip last. No, nah, I don't think last stand is really gonna help. I'm gonna play it a little risk. Actually, <laughs> actually, folks, two out of ten. Not enough murder of random dudes. No, how could you murder a random dude? <laughs> I'm a gambler man. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're in peril. We're gonna try to fight stuff in peril. Which, this is risky because Flowerfields actually kind of has a lot of just... Submit! A lot of submit! It has a lot of natural hazards, like spikes on the floor, so... This could go pear-shaped really fast. Doggone it, I didn't get the hidden panel in the Petunia room. That's okay, we'll come back there later. Oh, sorry. Hello, stranger. What do you think of my bright red coloring? Is it nice? What's that? You want to pass through here? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I couldn't possibly let you through. Although, perhaps I could make an exception if you gave me something delicious to eat. I have a berry that looks just like you. Well, mm. Oh, delicious. This is it. Great color. Full flavor. It is perfect. You're a champ for bringing me such a tasty snack. Of course you can go through. Wait, is this supposed to be a girl? I always thought it was a guy, but then again, I think actually all the flowers in Flowerfields are technically supposed to be girls, aren't they? Gamaria, what do you have to say about this? No, he doesn't tell us. Okay, oh no, wait. Okay, we're gonna tattle on Mr. Rough Puff here just to see his HP. I forgot we don't have, um... We don't have multi-bounce equipped. Also, I'm pretty sure a single jump is just not enough to hit a, hit a Rough Puff. He said she, but he was referring to Goombaria at the time. Oh no, he starts naturally electrified. <laughs> okay, you've been a very bad, bad boy. I didn't even think that Rough Puffs would start electrocuted. Zap Tap would have been nice. Okay. Save me, Bo. Oh, Dane. That is a new move. Oh, wait, no. I can hit everything with a multi bounce. No, no, no. Oh. I forgot enemies can drop hearts. No, Peril, Peril Strat will work. I'm not giving up on it, but instead of Quake Hammer, we're going to equip Multi Bounce. We're going to unequip 
the damage dodges. So we can equip S Zap Tap. <laughs> Believe it, it'll work! <laughs> Have some faith in Artie. <laughs> I just need to find more natural hazards and damage myself to put me back in peril. Oh, it's my favorite of the flowers! Look at this crystal tree! Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in all the world? Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Posey. Hmm? What's wrong with my mouth? This is my nose! Oh, how rude! Anyway, it was this fertile soil that made my nose grow so long. I happen to like it! Hehe. <laughs> Your nose is pretty nice, too. It could stand to be a little bit longer, so why don't you take this fertile soil with you? I like Posey. She gives us free stuff. <laughs> we got the fertile soil! <laughs> Your nose will be perfect soon! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I've always liked that Tom and Jerry quote. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, let's see if... Oh wait, I'm not in... Still not in peril! I forgot, yeah. Enemies dropped hearts for me. It was very rude. Much like that one boss from Fire Emblem 6. He was very rude. Good day, Mario. It's great to see you. I'm the guard of this gate. Must tell you, though, I don't let many people through. I have excellent taste in food, so you must bring me something sufficiently tasty to get by. Well, do you have anything? I've got a yellow berry. Bravo! Magnificent! A sweet, subtle flavor with a delicate finish. And such marvelous coloring! It reminds me of the warm sunlight I so yearn for. I'm truly taken aback by your cultured taste. Of course you may go. Alright, and here is where... We go... Okay! That deals more than one heart worth of damage. Okay, no amazy daisies. That's good. Alright, so as long as I can time these multi bounces, we should be able to efficiently just take out all enemies this way. Although, I might run low on FP. Oh, hey! No, I don't want. Okay. We're gonna just chug this syrup. <laughs> it's very healthy for you. And we're back in peril. We don't even need to multi-bounce these guys. <laughs> Get out of here, you stupid bee. I am so bad at timing that action command. One of the reasons I just have a bias against Paracarry. Okay, don't drop... Oh, yes, good, drop me flowers. I appreciate that. Blueberry! Oh, blueberries restore 5 FP. That's good to know. I actually do want two of them, though. Oh, hazards cannot finish you off in this game like they can in Fouse in Your Door. I did not know that. That's actually very nice to know. That explains why it was doing more than one heart of damage, but it didn't kill me when I was at two hearts. Look, Paracarry, you're getting use! <laughs> yay! 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 How's it going, Mobius? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> so as you can see, we're, we're, we're doing some risky strats. We're in peril, but we have Mega Rush equipped, so when we're in peril, <laughs> we deal an additional four damage per attack. <laughs> no! Dug on it. Now I have to land on the spikes again. <laughs> are these just all go- These are all the same fight. Ooh! Actually, we actually- 
we might be able to do most of the flower fields this stream. Oh, wait, we only have around 20 more minutes of the stream. I couldn't tell. It's still really light out where I am, and it's after 9. I love it. I thought for sure I had gotten another heart. Oh, well. <laughs> That's good. I thought you. I thought the enemies up here were a little tougher. I'm just waiting for the last fight to have an amazing daisy. Oh, well, we're about to level up. Ooh, maple syrup. Yes, please. We should level up from this fight. There we go. This is what I was waiting for. Wow, I normally make fun of multi-bounce, but it is actually quite good when you combine it with the right badge setup. <laughs> Level up! Well, let's boost our FP. I'm using a lot of FP, actually. With this, you can upgrade your party members. Alright, here we go, Bo. <laughs> Bombette is crying, because we have not upgraded her at all. Star piece. Oh, that's right. There's too many items over here for us to actually carry, because we've got... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Two. Yep, we're all full on items. I love how Ultra Hammer can just instantly uncover the panels. <laughs> Seems almost OP. That's because... Okay, that was because I had... Badges that were boosting my attack power by seven. I had two power pluses, all or nothing, and then Mega Rush, which altogether gave me plus seven attack per jump. Go! Oh, how horrible! The spring went dry. What a tragedy! Oh, this can't happen to me. No, it can't. Not to Lily. Somebody, the horrible fiend that rides in the clouds, took our precious water stone. Water flows from that magical water stone. Without it, the spring will never recover. Oh, and I'll wither up if I can't fl float on the water. I'll be crushed by my own weight and wither. Poor Lily. Oh no, don't give up, Lily. Perhaps a handsome prince will arrive and help you soon. Did somebody say handsome prince? Oh, I love how she literally has Kirby's face. A prince? Well, he actually looks more like a plumber, but beggars can't be choosers. Hello, my name is Lily. I'm a beautiful, fragile flower who lives in this spring. Um, to tell you the truth, I have to ask you to do me a favor. Could you please get my water stone back from that horrible cloud creature? Sure! Oh, you're a dream come true! Thank you so much! The water stone looks just like this! I can't see the text box, just trust me! <laughs> please find it! Literally, she has Kirby's face. It's amazing. Sorry, but Posey's still my favorite. Special tree up here gives us jam and jelly. Get out of here, you pow block. Yeah, I actually think I like the gloomy music here better than the sunny, happy music. On Donner, on Blitzen. On Donner, on Blitzen! <laughs> cool. Part of me was debating just hurting myself until I got back down to peril again, but that's probably not the wisest move to do. Oh, you guys have spawned back. No thanks, I'm not fighting you. But I missed a panel. Yeah, there it is. Missed this when I visited last time. I also missed going this way. Have a blueberry. <laughs> Who's throwing stuff down into my well? Huh? This is a blueberry. I love these. Thank you. I'll give you this in return. Another flower saver badge. Considering we have flower fanatic, though, I don't think we'll be using it. But it never hurts to have. That guy's just having the time of his life hanging out by the red berry tree. Ouch. Ouch! Do 
do do do. That was most rude of that bizap. All right, this next area does have spinies, so I probably should equip Quake Hammer. They don't have a whole lot of HP, so I don't need anything more intense than Quake Hammer. I don't, I don't think I do. We'll keep multi bounce as well, just because there are also like Lakitus. We're gonna unequip Flower Fanatic though. Actually, no. We we should just need Spike Shield. In which case, we don't need Quake Hammer at all. Alright, Blueberry Gate is down here, I believe. Nope, that's Redberry Gate. I'm so hungry, but I'm tired of guiding this stupid old gate, if I'm so, so hungry. Hey, you there! I don't suppose you have anything good to eat that you'd like to give me? Listen, if you give me something succulent, I'll let you through here and I won't tell anybody. Something tells me you'll like this. A blueberry? I'm sure this will be gross. <laughs> Oh, how delicious! Such a splendid taste! There are good blue fiends! I'm filled with hope again! Go, go and never feel blue! I'll never forget you! Oh yeah, I forgot this guy doesn't like his own color. And that's why he thought the blueberry would be gross. That's kind of sad. I think this is the perfect time to change to my party member! Ouch! Ouch! There is a color magic Koopa I don't see every day. Green Magikoopa, he has green robes. Oh, that's right, he's the defense power one. I sure hope... Oh, never mind, they can just flip right over again. But at least multi-bounce just invalidates their ability to attack. Wow, that Magikoopa's already almost dead. It's a spiny. Stop raising their defense powers like the tool you are. Well, gee. Fortunately, Watt does not give a crap about defense power. Okay, these guys have more HP than I was expecting. Man, I freaking love Quick Change. It is it is easily one of the best badges in the game. Well hidden shooting star there. I love it. Okay. Since we're not in peril right now, we don't need Mega Rush or Last Stand. So I think we actually... Let's see. So I natural my Quake Hammer naturally has two attack power, and it gets boosted by three, so it'll deal five. So that's actually not quite enough to kill the spiny. So I think we're gonna actually equip Power Quake. Oh great, White Magic Koopa, who's invisible? Take that. And now he's gonna run away like chicken! Buck, 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 buck. I am not at a very high amount of HP considering we are about to fight a mini boss. Ah, well, I can always use Smooch. Oh no, there are bees in the field now. I hope they're not part of the mini boss. Hey, where'd you drop it, idiot? Hufflepuff will have crowds if we don't find it! Ah, oh, man, I'm so clumsy! That stone gave out an endless supply of water! Without it, we can't increase the power of the Puff Puff machine! It's just gotta be around here somewhere, it's just gotta be! What? Is that Mario? Hey, look, man, it's Mario! Let's give, go look for the stone later, let's just rough this dude up! Oh, no, Mario! Are you sure? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm, in, you know, in the right mental state. Ah, forget it, I'll fight anyway! Here it comes, Mario! 
Yeah, support enemies can start with buffs. It's not very fun. Hey, Lakapoo. They got buffed HP. All right. I'm going to take out the Spinies first. Actually, I probably should have multi-bounced and then flipped them over. Oh, well. All right. Easy enough. <laughs> I love the weird face that their Lakitu cloud makes. Let's take up this Lakitu first. Just get him out of the way. You get flipped up, right? Oh, sweet! We can take out this Lakitu, and then we can switch to Watt and take out the Spiny. Easy. Bag. <laughs> Lakitus have the funniest facial expressions. This is why you get Ultra Rank Watt as soon as possible. <laughs> Really good. I love Watt. Favorite party member. Okay, now unfortunately we got we really need, do need to watch out for the Bazaps, so I'm gonna just preemptively chug a mushroom here. Actually, shoot, I was in danger. I could have equipped Ah, uh, it's fine, whatever. Ouch! If I get hit by another B, I'm dead. Oh, that's right, because I took off one of my damage dodges. Okay, at this point, I don't think we need Spike Shield anymore. At the very least, we don't need Spike Shield and Power Quake. Oh, I took off both of the... Oh. That's why I'm taking so much damage. Ouch! There we go. I don't think Power Rush is really going to be worth equipping, because plus two attack power is not going to make these fights any easier, but plus four would. <laughs> If I see more spikes, I will enter peril. Gotta love the hedge maze! <laughs> Gotta get me those Koopa Coins! <laughs> Alright. Oh, and now that's my least favorite flower. Oh, hello. Seems like ages since I last saw a visitor here. I'm Rosie, a rose spirit. I'm ever so glad to meet you. Here I am in full bloom, and there's nobody to look at me. Please admire me all you like. Breathtaking, aren't I? Aren't I just incredible? No. Oh, you don't think so? <laughs> you don't have to be so coy. I can tell you're too shy to compliment me to my face. Okay, then praise this instead. This stone, isn't it beautiful? I found it just the other day. Some strange creatures on clouds dropped it. I couldn't resist its gorgeous glitter, so I made it mine. I could look at it all day. Huh? What did you say? I should give you this stone? Oh dear, you're saying Lily's in trouble without this. How very sad. Oh well, it can't be helped. The stone is mine now, you see. You mean Lily will wither up without this stone? Huh. How sad, really, it... How very pitiful. As hard as it is to believe that some... That Lily sometimes acts like she's prettier than I am. She's dumb, but she's not evil. And if she's gone, there will be no flowers to set off my beauty. She's the worst. She's the worst kind of a woman. <laughs> let's see, tell you what. If you bring me something more beautiful than this stone, I'll think about trading it. So, let's wait till then. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm happy about that, that effect. I think that's going to be a great sound alert to play whenever I start getting really mad at a game. <laughs> I don't need any calming teeth! <laughs> Alright. Oh, man. So now, Oh, yeah, now we have to pay Posey another visit. Well, step one, we're going to get back into peril. <laughs> Live dangerously, Sora. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> it's peril time, Woody. <laughs> there we go. This should be good. <laughs> This is actually where having the chill out badge would have also been helpful because if I get if I get hit by a first strike I'm I'm dead. Oh man, we are like halfway done with the flower field. <laughs> Remember what I said about the chill out badge and getting hit by a first strike? <laughs> Game over. You suck bad. Oh, bother. <laughs> Luckily, I saved right before doing that. Alright, we're not going to embarrass ourselves this time by getting hit by a bee. Oh, hi! You don't take damage. Sushi, you gotta take one for the team. Actually, no. Paracarry, you can take one for the team. <laughs> you go out like a hero, Paracarry. <laughs> it's for the greater good. Do I seriously... No Seriously, don't deal enough damage to just take out those rough puffs. Oh, Rosie told you to bring her something beautiful? Rosie really loves beautiful things above all else. She's a little self-involved, haven't you noticed? Yes, I have. <laughs> you really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots. So maybe one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake it the root. Mmm. Uh, hey Phew. Oops, that was a bit unladylike. <laughs> Rosie should be more than satisfied with that berry. Man, Posey just gives us free stuff. It's awesome. I'm not even going to hit her tree. She's just too nice. Okay. How many rough buffs are we dealing with? Okay. Why does Air Raid take that much? It's not that good. I guess it's pretty alright. But it's not worth... By the way, that's supposed to consume at least 9 FP, and it's only because I have the Flower Saver badge equipped that it doesn't. Oh, how I wish Power Rush and Mega Rush stacked in this game. So you could get plus 6 attack power. <laughs> I think that might be a little busted, though. Alright. We're gonna go back to Rosie. If we ignore all the enemies, we should be... Oh, but there are bazaps in here. Devs really didn't want you using group attacks often in this mod. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, yeah, I know! 8 FP with the Flower Saver badge. Do not pick up the heart. I'm going to wait for the heart to despawn. I don't remember Air Raid even being all that good of an attack. Like, it hits all enemies, which is nice, but also so does Spiny Surge and Mega Bomb. 
I guess Mega Bomb took that. No, Mega Bomb only took eight without Flower Saver, and that, you didn't even need Mega Bomb that often. Have you found anything? Yes, here you go. Oh, how pretty! I love it. It's so much nicer than this ugly old stone. You'd better hurry back and give this stone to Lily. Make sure she knows that she was saved because of me. <laughs> I, I really wanted to say a naughty word there. And she is saved because of me. She almost died because of you. Oh, such loveliness. I've gotten to so beautiful that I'm starting to scare myself. Blech. All right, as long as I don't get hit by a surprise bee attack. And it's good! Whoosh! All right. And at that point, I believe that... Probably, yep, that brings the stream to just about exactly an hour and a half. Awesome. Wow, we plowed through the flower fields. Really fast. Uh, we literally just have to give the fiend to Lily, get the bubble berry, and then we're on our way to spike the puff puff machine, and then huff and puff. So we can... We're probably going to clear chapter 6 next time, even if we go back and do the uh, chapter 5 challenge from the boo. Thanks for joining in, everybody. This is a whole lot of fun. Um, I will not be streaming tomorrow, because I have small group. I might stream Friday? I might... I want to continue the Kingdom Hearts 1 race. I'm doing a fly. I don't know when we're our schedule to, are going to align, though. And then Saturday, uh, I'll be continuing the... Actually, I think Friday, if I'm not streaming Kingdom Hearts of Fly, I'll probably finish up, or at least try to finish up that Ocarina of Time randomizer seed. If we can't do it that stream, then we're going to finish it up Saturday. <laughs> so that's my current plan. So thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your evening, and God bless.